Hi, I saw Katie of Chapter Stacks do the book is, what is it, book scenarios tag and it's originally from, from Lindsay Hart Books and yeah, interesting questions. First question, you have to get rid of all your books and you can only keep one from each of these genres, contemporary, fantasy, non-fiction and one other genre of your choosing. What books do you keep? Okay, uh, contemporary. I would go with uh, Microsurfs by Douglas Coupland, but for some crazy reason I don't actually own a copy. So I'm gonna have to go with After Dark by Haruki Murakami, which I don't have on me because it's at my sister's, but it's great. So I would save that one. Fantasy? Uh, I would actually save... I would actually save this one. Uh, the Sandman Book of Dreams. It's by multiple authors. I think they're like 14 or something. Uh, it's a short story collection just about the world of Sandman. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's really special to me and I have my reasons for saving it. And I haven't even actually finished it. I've, I just take it off the shelf sometimes and like just open it somewhere and read that story and then again I open it somewhere and read that story so I actually have no idea which ones I've already read I've just read a lot of it but not all so I'd say that one. Uh, non-fiction? For non-fiction I would go with Okay, it's kind of hard to choose for this one because it's, I mean, it's either going to be Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson or it's going to be Party Monster by James St. James. And I think I'm going to go with Fear and Loathing. Again, like, it means a lot to me and there I have my reasons, but I'm just not going to go into it because that would just be like 10 extra minutes of me talking about adventures of buying it and things that happened when I was reading, just memories that are associated with the book. So yeah, I choose Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Okay, and uh, one other genre of my choosing, uh, sci-fi. I'm gonna choose sci-fi and I'm gonna go with this one I just got. It's a near mint condition iRobot by Isaac Asimov from 1970 and it's <laughs> I even have it in a plastic bag, it's just that's how I got it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it like that. I just, I think it looks kind of fancy in the back. I think it's cool, I just got it and I'm kind of in love with it and that's why I would save that one. Next question, you're at the bookstore and you hear a teenager telling their mom they don't like to read, but their mom insists they pick something. You walk over and recommend a book you think is great for people who aren't big on reading. What book is it? Um, I guess I just recommend manga or comics. Something just easy, simple, something fun and then Maybe if they like that, if they find like a manga they like, then they might uh, search for more manga and read that. And then they would get into comics maybe, and then they would get into fantasy or sci-fi or just a gateway drug into reading fiction. Okay. N question number three. Uh, you're not feeling yourself and you need a pick-me-up. Which book do you read to put yourself in a great mood? Oh, I know. To put myself in a great mood, I would read this. Asuma Gadayo by Kiyohiko Asuma. I am not great with the Asian names. Without fail, this always picks me up. It's just, I love the girls, I love their lives, I love how we get to follow them through school and through the years. I love how unimportant some of the things are. I mean, it's just kind of daily life and things that happen in daily life and how you realize that daily life actually isn't unimportant. It's actually fun and funny and interesting. And it's really funny. I always laugh. And the same thing could be said about Yotsuba 
tai kiuhiko asuma. Uh, it's just obviously that this writer just gets into my happy place. Just, I'd read something by Kiyohiko Asuma. Question four. You go back in time for a day to your teenage years. What book would you most likely have caught yourself reading? Uh, if I were to go back in time and find myself reading something, I would most definitely be reading Narnia. Yes. This. This is what I'd be reading. Not this copy necessarily, but I was always reading the Narnia books at the library. Uh, they were so beautiful. I'm gonna put a few of them here, but ah, uh, just the brown frame. I love the way they looked. They're just so beautiful. Or actually, I might also be reading this. Uh, I recently bought this just for the nostalgia and I really like this, the Angels Unlimited series. I would either be reading this or this. Question number five. Your friend surprises you with a four day trip and in one hour to pack. Which book do you bring to read on the way? Uh, I'm currently reading this one. I am Malala by Malala Yousafzai. Uh, I obviously took the cover off because it's very beautiful and I didn't want to damage it while I was reading it. When I took the cover off, I first thought, wow, that's kind of cheap, just white. I mean, it's not that pretty. But then I saw the spine and I think it's actually, is kind of pretty. It's just simple and I like it. But because this is what I'm currently reading and because I just started, I would definitely just take this one. And if not that one, then I would just choose one book from my to read shelf. What? Question six. Your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe, but your bookshelf has been raided. What's the book you really hope is safe? My Bible. My Edgar Allan Poe Bible. Because it is glorious. It is gold. It's leather. I don't know if it's... It's probably not <laughs> real leather, but it's just beautiful and I love it. And it even has a dangly bookmark thing. It's very, very beautiful. And I would hope this would be safe. Last question, question number seven is your friend borrows a book and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? I don't think I would do any of those things. First of all, I wouldn't pretend that I just hadn't noticed because I couldn't pretend because it would be obvious that I would have noticed because I really love my books and I take very good care of them. If you ever see me holding a book that it's not in beautiful condition, that's not because of me. It's because I bought it in that condition. Um, so it would be very obvious that I would notice if something were to happen to my books because I would be kind of sad. like. I'm very sad. It depends on the books, obviously, but I would be sad. Uh, but I wouldn't ask them to repurchase it because I made the choice to lend it to them. I'm not gonna ask them to repurchase it. And as for the last one, would I do something similar to something of theirs? No, that's just horrible. No, don't do that. I'm just gonna be a little sad and then I'm gonna move on and buy another copy and get on with my life. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the book scenarios tag that I saw Katie on chapter stacks do, which I really recommend her if you like booktubers. And yeah, so there it is. Thanks and bye. Put it back in the bag, put it back in the bag. <laughs>